Now, talking of serving, Andy's got some serious serving to face today. What do you feel about that? <laughs> it's a really tough match. I mean, nobody wants to play Ivo Karlovic on grass. He's six foot ten, so yeah. his, his reach when he serves is probably about eight foot ten. So it's like somebody serving at you coming out of a tree. Uh, it's very, very tough. I mean, his ace count at, at Wimbledon this year is just phenomenal. So it's going to be very difficult, and it puts pressure on you to hold your own serve, and you can't lose your focus at any point. Um, so it's going to be a tough one today, I think. Do you get as sick with nerves as I do when I'm watching him and I don't even know him? I mean, what is it like? Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it is really stressful. I say it's like a mixture of nausea and a heart attack all going on at the same time. Yeah, and it hasn't got any easier. I thought it would get easier, uh, you know, as, as he went on, but it's actually got harder. Now, you're going to be seriously hoping, aren't you, that he does it, finishes off the match, obviously wins, but quickly, because your other son, Jamie, <laughs> is coming up straight after, isn't he? Yeah, he's third match on court 12. They're playing the defending champions, uh, Pospisil and Sock, in the doubles, so he's got a tough match as well. So very much hoping they won't be on at the same time. Yeah. Should we be at all worried about Andy's shoulder? Because he had to stop on Saturday for that, didn't he? Is that a real problem? That we're I think worried it's about? just a precaution. Caution, you know, if you if you feel something, the best thing is to get it dealt with uh, straight away. So I think he, he, he practiced yesterday and he, he was feeling good. So That's fingers crossed. Because there has been a bit of controversy over it. He, he said that he felt there shouldn't be injury stops because Sefty stopped as well, didn't he? Do you think sometimes there is too much stopping? I think, uh, I think obviously, if you have an injury, you, you must stop and, and, and get it treated, otherwise you're going you're gonna to make it worse. Um, but I think it is possible to use these medical timeouts as a chance to break somebody's rhythm and change the momentum of the match. But the key, of course, for the player who is not the one that's injured is to maintain their focus. But, you know, you can be six minutes there and you can get cold yeah. uh, and you, you may be stiff enough just a little bit. So it, it is a, it's a tricky time. Now, look, we know you love your boys, we know you love tennis, but what you might not know is Judy loves cake. I love your style, Judy. I do. Now, we wouldn't ask you to choose between your boys, but can you choose between these cakes? So, Andy is chocolate, Jamie is Victoria Sponge. Oh, Which... Victoria Sponge. Oh, Jamie gets it, no doubt at all. You can't well, choose between your boys. Nice. I love it. Right Thank up. you. We're going to have a feast, <laughs> aren't we? So, are they both going to do it today? Uh, I, I hope so. I hope so. I hope so. Said like a mum, <laughs> true feeling. You wouldn't want to be in her shoes, mm -hmm. would you? Even if it had gone to the striker, the striker couldn't have hit it so well. It yeah. just in a freak. How are you spoken to her? How's she doing? Um, yeah, I've texted her. I've spoken via via messaging. Um, obviously, with time difference mm. in Canada, um, she's she's getting there. She's getting there. She's she's devastated.